Need a scales to prove that. I can hear it. This is one of those problems that's actually loud, not quiet. Common sense, try and reduce the weight. One team in the last series made um, a giant blimp. Uh-huh. You don't remember? It was. Those two clever chaps. Oh. One of them wore glasses and they made a big Lego grey brick uh, blimp. It was in the last series. Somebody, somebody has to make um, an aeroplane yeah. and a parachutist. A guy in a parachute hovering underneath the aeroplane. Like he's jumped out of the plane. What are these two going to come up with? These two are brilliant as well. Pegasus is a mythical creature, essentially a horse with wings. Huh. I would can play with the wings for a while. Yeah. We can add and subtract plates from the wings to allow it to float rather than to sink or fly away. I said, we're going to Pegasus then. Go on, put in the head and take put in the body frame. We have this real end. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful Pegasus there. Four wings for us now, which is pretty significant to us. And this is where it gets interesting. But we don't want to become too close. You can so quick. Yeah. We're just going to make sure that we do the best we do. And this guy is so clever. What do we need to have with one we feel like? So, yeah. He could have, he could have um, made lots of different different heads and that at home. Mm. All right, here we go, Brick Man. This is Not just a competition. Will it fly? It isn't like the hanging brick ah, challenge. Ah, that one, last. yeah. Except much harder. That was the blimp. Because you've got to get it perfectly weighted. There you go. We can see That's what I was talking about. Correct, that's right. Each individual Lego brick needs to have a reason why it's there, because yeah. it's adding weight. And the other one was the space above the barn, I remember, as well. Oh, I'm that one. Hovering above the bomb. Well, well, you are in luck. I do have some chicken. So we'll eat that. It's flavoured. You can feel a soft fluff on your legs. Both 
Harry's been a little bit unlucky in love. That guy's weird, he's so like. He's going to represent Harry's love life. We're going to have a girl hanging off the front of the balloon, trying to float away from Harry, as Harry's holding on for dear life down the bottom. It's... <laughs> Is that too real? Is that too hard? Oh, I absolutely adore the idea of my love life being in the Lego Fields. Any, all anyone could ever dream of, I'm pretty sure. He looks terrified, doesn't he? Oh. 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 What oh. Do? That was close. <laughs> no. Hashtag too far. I am incredibly excited to make Lego fly today. It's very cool. And it instantly makes me think of a flying machine. Why are we getting hello? Oh. Tell me about you. So it's gonna be the Marvel's man with the Marvel's contraption. Oh, awesome. Think Divinity esque. Early, early days of the nightmare. I can see how this is being done. I want this. Push it back. Flying bubble. I really want to have fucking wings and I want his legs to fly. Are we getting power functions? Not at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm worried about the whole weight idea with the power functions. I'd probably, if I were you, like, test a lot. Yeah, there you go. The battery pack is a pretty good yeah, yeah, item, but I really. The motors aren't light. Mm -hmm. To make it work. Make sure it lifts up. Worst case scenario, it just looks like a flying machine and it doesn't get one. Totally. Good stuff, guys. Thank you. If we get this, it's a two for one. We get rid of the brick of doom and we get an advantage in the nation. Yeah, that bricking brick. Just by chance, look at how balanced it is so far. So far. You know, it started. Hmm? Alright, guys, come on. Okay, who has a t-shirt with the word brat on it? She does. <laughs> Why? What's the vibe reason for that? Or maybe it's to represent somebody at home who she hates. <laughs> Difficult to weave material of plastic bricks. This is definitely first for Lego Masters. Today, we have to build something that will float in the air for 10 seconds. Why not do Mary Poppins with an umbrella flying in the sky? That's a good idea, yeah. Mary Poppins. Then it will be judged on aesthetics. That string to her umbrella, it's just flying. It's doing a scene in the film. Oh. Okay. Up, back down. Um. Ready too heavy without any fruit at all. Well, I'm going to put it in the mirror. Ballooning tragedy. It's going to be a terrible picnic basket if it's empty. Make it smaller. We wanted to build a picnic basket full of yummy food and little creepy crawlies, but now it's too heavy. All right. Actually, throwing all the little stuff off it. We're going to have to reduce the size. Picnic basket for yeah. 10 becomes a picnic basket for 2. Although, good news, then you have to build less panels now because you're kind of almost done. Less weaving panels. Well, pretty much. That's the positive news. Always looking positive, guys. It's always there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you're halfway. Two and a half hours down, two and a half to go. Whether you are making baskets or making flying machines or a magical, gorgeous pony, you are halfway through. Now, looking great. <laughs> what are those balloons blowing up with? Helium. Helium. And that's that is the material they use in airships. Helium. So what? <laughs> I'm working on an astronaut who's got a torso, some arms, a couple of legs. Ah, crap. Too no heavy. hands, no feet, no head. Just go, you know what I mean? Grab everything. Just want to check one. Yep. Yeah. The most important thing is to make this float. So we have to be testing. It has to be perfect. If it doesn't look perfect, so. Only a fool will not test their good. invention. Yeah. Hmm. So we're not good. That's hovering there.